Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Sorry I am late this morning, but the kids actually slept. I got up, fed the dog, made coffee, and sat by myself in a quiet kitchen. I was like, this is glorious. Remember when you were young and you would wake up and be the first one up and you just lay around like, when is everybody else going to wake up? This is awful. <laughs> or if you slept at someone's house and you woke up before your friend and you were like, oh, this is so awkward. Um, it's not like that when you have, when you have kids, when you wake up first and the house is quiet, you're like, this is Christmas again, Christmas part two. Um, so I just looked around at the house that feels so lived in and just felt so unbelievably grateful. I do still have that weird thing though, where I look around and I'm like, when did I grow up and buy my own house? It's still weird for me. I'm not going to lie. Um, but anyway, yesterday I decided it was Christmas and I was going to throw caution to the wind in regards to my eating and I was just going to eat whatever I wanted. Well, my body doesn't do well with a lot of foods, dairy being one of them at all. And last night when I was putting dessert on my plate, Michael was like, you know, that's made with like eight things you should not be eating. And I was like, it's Christmas. I'm eating. I don't care. I want it. And he was like, eat it. Of course, I felt so sick, 15, not even like 20 minutes after. I was miserable. And I started thinking about all the things that I put into my body yesterday that I wouldn't typically put into my body. But I was like, it's the holidays, even though I felt like crud. And I was thinking, all right, one bad day doesn't have to completely derail me. I laid in bed last night feeling so sick and just bloated and just gross. My stomach hurt so bad. Um, and I was thinking about how many times we have one bad day and we let it completely throw us off. We work to be kind. We work to be good. We work to be patient. And then someone pisses us off, hurts our feelings, cuts us off in traffic, whatever. And we're like, ah, and we flash out. And then it's like, we feel like the whole day is a wash. It's the same thing with eating. We, we try to watch what we're eating. We try to do really well. And then we cheat or we eat something we shouldn't, and then the whole day's a wash. So, well, might as well eat a whole bag of potato chips. Today's a wash. Um, and really, the truth is, life is so short that you don't have to wash a whole day. If somebody cuts you off and you react, or somebody hurts your feelings and you react, totally normal, right? Um, it doesn't mean that all the work you've done has to be a wash. It doesn't mean that all the pra kindness you've practiced is a wash or that you're a hypocrite. Because here's the thing. People love to say that to me. Oh, Jamie, you do coffee talk and you preach kindness and you preach goodness and all. And I'm like, okay, first of all, I don't preach anything. So I'm not a preacher. I talk. Second of all, um, just because I want to be better doesn't mean I'm perfect at all. And if you hurt me or you hurt one of my kids, just know there's a good chance I'm lurking in the corner in the dark somewhere. And if I see you, I might pounce on you. Doesn't mean I won't be kind the next day. I do not believe that all of our efforts have to be awash because we have one setback anywhere. I have a, a friend right now who's, um, lives in California and she's fighting to save her marriage right now. And they'll do good, you know, they'll be doing really well and then something will happen and she'll get mad at him and she'll call me and it's like she goes right back to that nucleus of pain that started all of this. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a fight. You can't go all the way back. It doesn't have to be a wash. The last month of wonderful progress in this marriage does not have to be a wash because you're mad at him that he brought home the wrong hot dogs or because he told you a, a white lie or whatever. Like everything that we do matters. Everything that we do. So if you're kind or good or patient for eight hours and then you lose it for a second, the eight hours still counts. 
We need that. We need that time. So if you've lost your cool with someone, if you've reacted to someone, if you've whatever, eaten like a glutton like I did, uh, it doesn't mean that all your efforts are a wash. Just find your center, get back on track to where you want to be, always serving what fills you, and keep going. We all slip off the slip and slide once in a while. All of us. But the best thing is you can get right back on. I love you so much today. Have a great day.